find yourself in a comfortable position. Take some deep cleansing breaths and as you do so, imagine that light is filling your body We're going to do a visualization together to help expand your awareness and to invite your spirit guides close to impress upon your mind their insights, feelings, emotions and wisdoms. So keep taking deep cleansing breaths. And as you do so, feel your body relaxing. Letting go of the tension in your muscles. And letting go of all the cares in this world. Send a thought out to your spirit guides to look after all of those who you hold dear and all of your responsibilities whilst you give yourself this time to be with yourself and to go within. To heal your emotions and cleanse your own energies so that you may face the earthly world better prepared and so that you can be in tune with the spiritual world around you so that you can perceive the support being given to you no matter what is going on in your life right now. So as you breathe in and breathe out, I'd like you to visualize that beneath your feet is a pool of cleansing water that is filled with white light. Visualize yourself placing your feet into the water and feeling its warmth. And as your feet dip into this soothing water, which cleanses and takes away any impurities and any dis-ease, the light within the water glows brighter And as you continue to breathe now, that light begins to draw up your body, starting at the feet, coming up your ankles and in and around your calves. The light is healing, it rejuvenates and it balances. goes down right to the cellular level to clear away any blockages in your energies and to help prepare you for expanding your awareness and reconnecting with the purity of spirit. So breathe in and draw the light up See it coming up around your thighs and then it settles at the area of your bottom at the base chakra 
and perhaps you see a red light shining down towards the earth as the pure white light of spirit cleanses, balances and heals this centre. Or perhaps you feel that the light is in this area and is helping to balance and rejuvenate your energies. If you see any shadows or patches, allow this pure spiritual light to cleanse and to heal your energy body. Now breathe in and draw the light up further. See it coming around the bottom of your torso and it settles at the sacral chakra, the area just below the belly button. Now you may see an orange light shine out in front and behind you as the spiritual light meets your own energy and boosts its power. Or you may sense and feel this energy centre expanding. Should you detect any shadows or patches, allow this pure white light to heal and to balance, to leave you well to get rid of disease. And then draw the light up further. See it coming up around the middle of your torso and settling at the solar plexus. This is the area just above the belly button and some people visualize golden yellow light shining out in front and behind them. Others simply sense the energy here in the tummy area. I want you to pay attention to how easy it is to expand your energy here. And if you feel you are in need of healing in this area, allow the pure white light of spirit to cleanse, to balance and to heal. It is here in the solar plexus where we hold many emotions, those in spirit as they draw close relay their own emotions through this center. So by allowing your strains and tensions to ebb away and by leaving this center clear and cleanse, you afford yourself the chance to perceive those from higher realms as they draw close to your own body and mind and impart their emotions of love and wellness upon you. Let go of all that doesn't serve you. Now draw your breath in once more coming up to the area of the heart. Feel the spiritual light flood into this centre, carrying away with it past heartache and pain. You may see pink or green light shining out in front and behind you or you may just sense 
that your heart is beginning to expand with the love that you allow to flow through you that is carried within this pure, loving, spiritual light. Be aware of how you feel if you detect any shadows or patches allow them to be cleansed and taken away otherwise open your heart think of somebody in the spiritual dimensions who you love remember the animal kingdom too and send your love unconditionally wrapping them in it and creating a bridge between the two worlds. Send your love out now to any spiritual teachers and guides whose intention it is to draw close to you whilst you meditate here today. Even though you haven't met them yet, Give gratitude and thanks for what they are about to show you. Opening the heart is the bridge between the two worlds because those bonds of love join us together. Trust and know you are never alone. Loving guidance is with you always and all you must do is step away from the worries and concerns of your earthly life and create a space where you are clear in mind and pure in heart to receive. Now breathe in again and draw the light of spirit up into your throat area, blending as you do with the throat chakra. Many people experience a blue turquoise light reaching out in front and behind. Allow this center for communication to expand. Knowing that you are free to speak your truth with compassion at all times. As you expand this center, let the light heal balance and rejuvenate. Many of us do not speak our truth for fear of ridicule. Many of us do not enjoy conflict and so remain silent rather than rock the boat. Blockages can appear when we do not speak our truth so allow this center to be cleansed and healed. It is common that you may wish to cough or clear your throat at this time. Or you may experience the feeling of a lump in your throat. Allow the clear cleansing light to take away all disease and to heal and bring your spiritual body into perfect alignment. Know all is well with you.
the spirit world draw close to this center, using it to communicate their truth with compassion. Be bold and trust. So that when you speak in the days and weeks ahead with the love of spirit in your heart, you can speak your wisdom knowing that you are inspired and that you are never truly alone. Now breathe the light up further. Take it round to the back of your head and at the area, the base of the skull, there is a small energy center here, often termed as the zeal point chakra. People experience this as having a magenta light. But as you draw the light of spirit in and cleanse and heal this center, know that what you see is particular to you and that that is okay. You may just sense or feel energy here. And if you do, be aware of how hard or easy it is for you to expand the energy at this center. And allow the light to cleanse and to heal, to balance and rejuvenate. Next, draw the light up further now, coming around your face. And as you are surrounded in the white light, let it stop at the area between your eyes on your forehead, at the brow center or the third eye. Let this pure white spiritual light settle in here, expanding your vision and opening your awareness so that you may see more clearly through your mind's eye. Some people experience seeing an eye opening up before them. Others experience a drawing sensation between the eyes. Others experience nothing at all. Don't judge, just allow the light to do its work. Trust. Now you may see an indigo blue light here reaching out in front and behind. Just allow this center to be healed and balanced. Allow your mind to rest. Do not fret or worry about what is to come and what has been. Give your mind a moment to just sit in this moment, being present here now. This center is where those in spirit will bring inspiration through pictures and that you will see these pictures through the mind's eye. So by allowing your mind to get clear, when an image arises, you will be able to trust that this image is coming from your spirit teachers rather than your own imagination. Draw the light up through your head. Send it up through the crown at the top of your head and up into the heavens now. And then see the light raining back down towards you 
surrounding you in a heavenly healing light that meets the pool of water beneath your feet where we began this meditation so that the energy can come up again and circulate round forever recycling and replenishing. If you were to look at yourself now, you would see that you are surrounded in the purest of white light. And that light is blending with your own energy body. So from time to time, you may see the colors of your aura morphing in and out like a rainbow. And you may get a feel for those colors. Don't forget, if you cannot see through the mind's eye, just follow my voice, trust and sense within you. The colors that you sense and see are individual to you. And they have meaning based upon what's going on in your life right now. As you take this moment to sit in your own power, the power of your own energy body and spirit, don't forget to send love to yourself. Know that you are worthy of this. Nobody is perfect. But if your heart is willing to love and your mind is willing to learn and that you are reaching for higher and higher expressions of yourself to grow, to become your best self, then that is all you can do and your spirit guides and helpers will support and assist you in this. And as you sit in this beautiful light that is all around you now, I'd like you to visualize that you're expanding that energy out, that the field of light, love and energy surrounding you is growing. It is within this field now that a spirit teacher or spirit guardian or guide can step close to you by stepping into the light, into your energy field and placing their hands symbolically on your shoulders. They now meet you in the light and the love you have created around you. Can you see them? Or do you feel the loving presence of them there? The energy of the spirit guide is a strong one and they usually feel extremely tall and expansive. Let the love of your spirit guide wash over you now. Let go of all expectation and allow yourself to receive. Your spirit guide has come close to enhance the bond between you and them with the intention of helping you to open your third eye and to experience the love of the spiritual dimensions around you. If you cannot see your guide there, feel Get to know their presence. Feel what it is like now that they have stepped into the space around you 
and into the loving light. Feel their power and presence. Now, your spirit guide has come to let you know a little about them. They give you a gift, placing in your hands an object that can help you to learn, that can give you some insight. If you do not know what this gift is, ask your spirit guide for some clarity. Pay attention to how you feel, not just what you see or words you hear. We're going to ask your spirit guide to give you something about them, a piece of information. This could be a name, it could be a place in time, it could be a country of origin. It could be the role that they play in looking after and guiding you. I'm going to leave you now for a short time to follow your spirit guide's lead. If you are in need of healing and they come to heal you, you can enjoy this moment to receive the healing. If you are in need of wisdom or insight, ask your questions of your guide and see if you can get a response. If you are simply curious as to who it is that walks with you in life, allow your spirit guide to reveal themselves in any which way that they can. Trust. When I speak again, my voice will not startle you. Now, I want you to bring your attention back to my voice. Thank your spirit guide for all that they have shown you, for the insights they have given you. Before they leave your body, and the energy around you before they separate from the blending of your mind. Relay your own love and gratitude to your spiritual teacher. Allow your spirit guides to step back out of the light, out of the energy field that you created around you 
removing their hands from your shoulders and disconnecting from your mind so that as you sit you are once again in the pure light and energy that you created around you. And do not worry if you did not perceive anything. Know that with regular following of this meditation and practice, in time your spirit guides who are here with you, whether you can perceive them or not, will begin to be able to impress upon your mind their presence, love, and power. I want you to know that you can come back to this space of peace and love and light whenever you need to. But for now we're going to bring our attention back, starting by drawing the light back down through your head. See it coming down through the whole of your body and out through your feet, back to the pool of water and light beneath your feet. And as this happens, your physical body is cleansed, balanced and healed. Your mind, which is in control of much of your well-being, feels lighter and more at peace. And I want you to know that you have given yourself a gift, even if you did not experience your spirit helpers. For the physical body responds to meditation such as this, calming the nervous system, boosting your immunity, keeping your heart healthy, reducing stress, giving you a chance to heal and to balance. So as that light back in the pool beneath your feet dissipates, place yourself into a bubble of protection Know that the negativity in this world can bounce off of this protective layer, keeping your environment healthy around you. Take your attention back to your feet. Step out of the pool of white light and water and visualize your feet being placed on the ground. Back in touch with Mother Earth. Back in touch with the energy of the Earth and its nurturing qualities around you, grounding you to this life. You are in this world because you are needed here and because you have come to fulfill a mission. Your spirit guides and helpers know that mission and they choose to support you all the way. So bring your attention back to your breath now. Move your body, get in touch with it once more. Listen to your breathing and the sounds around you. As you begin to return to everyday levels of awareness. Your mind is now a little more receptive to receiving the insights 
from spirit teachers, loved ones and guides. Know that you are in control of this connection at all times. And that your loved ones and spirit guides are there for you whenever you choose. Take some deep cleansing breaths and gradually come fully to your senses now. Look around you, taking in all the sights and the colours. If you had an encounter with a spirit guide, it's a good time to jot this down. Keep some notes so that you do not forget for future. Return to this meditation any time you like. knowing that eternal love is there for you always. Namaste. Love, light and blessings to you.